Hi, Jesse here with Razor Sharp Networks, helping you build better business systems. And I got about a 10 minute training for you on hosted SharePoint. I know 10 minutes is incredibly long, but I'm going to talk with you a little bit about how to interact with the hosted SharePoint environments to access files and directories, utilizing Internet Explorer and then also your Explorer applications uh, on your PC. So uh, what I'm going to do is just ask that you uh, turn off Pandora, put your cell phones on stun, give me your undivided attention for the next 10 minutes, and I'll give you some tools that users, uh, user admins and executives can utilize in order to provide anytime, anywhere access to important documents without having to maintain expensive business networks uh, and or VPNs or third-party remote applications. So I'm going to jump right in there. First and foremost, I want to draw a distinction between Internet Explorer and your Explorer applications on your computer. Of course, on the left-hand side, we have Internet Explorer, which most, most of us utilize uh, to access the Internet. There are other browsers out there that you can utilize, Chrome, Safari, uh, just to name a few, but uh, the experience through Internet Explorer is much richer, so we do encourage that if you are uh, subscribed to Office 365, utilize Internet Explorer in order to access your hosted SharePoint environment. And of course, on the right-hand side, we have our Explorer application, which uh, is utilized to access our desktops, my documents, my pictures, my videos, and uh, network drives, shared drives, um, and map network drives. So uh, two distinctions there, uh, Internet Explorer and then also Explorer. So uh, just so we know from a terminology standpoint the difference, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get you started in regards to accessing hosted SharePoint through Office 365. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is navigate to portal.microsoftonline.com and input your username and password. This is going to grant you access to the environment through the admin or through the end user portal. If I can remember my password. And you'll have a couple of different navigation uh, options once you land on the end user portal. What we're going to focus on today is in the top toolbar, it's called Team Site. And this will navigate you directly. Uh, to your hosted SharePoint environment. Now once we're on the team site we have a couple of different options. Of course we're in the browser so we can take advantage of some of the browser fun functionality. Uh, we can create a shortcut or a favorites uh, for this um, access. We can uh, put a shortcut in our browser menu there and what happens is the next time we open up our browser we have that home tab there. We can even rename this And of course, if we select on that uh, and we're authenticated against Office 365, it'll log us directly into our hosted SharePoint environment. So take advantage of the tools that you already know how to utilize. Now that you've moved your documents uh, to the cloud, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can access this information. Now these documents are stored in document libraries inside of SharePoint, so um, you have a couple of different options in regards to management. The first option I'm going to talk with you about is managing these document libraries uh, with your browser. And up, if, once I select one of the document libraries inside of SharePoint, I have three options. I have Browse, Documents, and then also Libraries, which will give you access to library settings and things of that nature. Uh, today I'm going to focus on the Documents tab and also Libraries. Uh, so first and foremost, I'll focus on the Documents tab. And this tab gives us the ability, gives us the functionality that we're looking for in order to manage this directory and these documents inside of our browser. So let's say that we wanted to create a new folder. We would just select the New Folder tab, create that folder. The page is going to refresh itself. And as you can see here, uh, I've just created a new folder uh, inside the hosted SharePoint environment. Now, in, in addition to that, I can delete this folder. I can set up alerts on that. If you have questions about how to set up alerts and or delete document uh, directories, go ahead and leave those below, and we'll get those answered for you at a future date. Uh, but what I want to talk with you about is how to upload documents to this document library. Now when we select the uplo Upload tab, we have two options here. Upload a single document, or we can upload a multiple document, or upload multiple documents. Um, once we do that, we have the option of choosing the directory if we're not already navigated to it. Um, so I'm going to load this into test 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you can see, that updated my document, uh, my directory path. And uh, we also have the option to overwrite existing files uh, here. If we have files that we're going to be uploading that we want to overwrite, uh, we can select that or we can actually create versions by not overwriting those documents. Now once I have this, this uh, page open here, 
all I need to do is drag and drop the files that I would like to upload to SharePoint into the um, into the browser window and then, and then press OK and it's going to go ahead and upload those files uh, to SharePoint. I select done. The page will refresh and then we'll just navigate to this directory and as you can see here uh, I have those four files that I just dragged into the browser that have been uploaded here. Now if I wanted to edit any one of these files what I would do is I would just click on it and I would uh, edit that file either in the, my client application or the program uh, if it was an Excel uh, file, I would just go ahead and edit that in Excel. Or if I subscribe to Office Web Apps, I could actually edit this in the browser, which is an option for some customers. So I won't get into that today because, again, I just want to show you how to manage files and directories uh, and move from the browser interface to the Explorer interface or more of a directory interface. So now once I've uh, actually created this directory, I have a couple of different options. What I want to do is I'm going to select the Library tab up in Library Tools and I'm going to move from the browser, which is Internet Explorer, over to uh, my directory uh, program, which is Explorer. I'm going to select this tab here that says Open with Explorer. And as you can see here, this opens up this document library that's hosted in the SharePoint environment in Office 365 as if it's local to my PC. I can navigate through the top navigation bar uh, back to the root directory, which is Shared Documents. Uh, what I can do here is um, I can create what's called favorites or shortcuts right here in Explorer. So I can add the current location which is shared documents to Explorer. Um, I could come up here and once I have the document location I can send this document by right clicking it again to my desktop. So as you can see here we have several different ways to access our document libraries. We can right click favorites add the current location to favorites once we navigate to it. Um, we can right click the location and send it to our desktop as a desktop shortcut. Um, we can access it through our browser by creating shortcuts in our favorites bar and or in our we can create a shortcut in favorites uh, if we prefer to access those documents that way. And the great part about this is uh, regardless of how you prefer to access it, it really does simplify the user access uh, the administrative burden on this uh, and the costs associated with it are definitely simplified uh, and reduced tremendously. So um, one troubleshooting note, as you can see there, I can double click on shared documents and I navigate right back to my directory. I can take a look at the location in my address bar. As you can see here, uh, we're inside of our SharePoint environment inside the document library, which is called shared documents. Now, if you, for some reason, are unable to access your document library through your shortcut, generally what has happened is the secure connection between your PC and the Microsoft Cloud Services has been uh, timed out. So a really easy way to resolve that issue is just go ahead and open up your browser, Internet Explorer, navigate back to SharePoint. Now, if it's if your connection has been timed out it may ask you for your username and password so go ahead and input your username and password if it has timed out navigate back to the document library that you would like to recreate this connection for select library and then open it from the browser open Explorer from the browser as opposed from your desktop and the system will automatically recreate that secure connection from your local Explorer client uh, to the Microsoft Cloud Services so uh, again, this is a really easy way to uh, reconnect your uh, local PC to the cloud service application. Uh, and that really covers the different ways that you can gain access to your important files utilizing Internet Explorer and, both, and also your Explorer application. Um, if, you have any, uh, if you found this valuable and you have any comments, please leave those below. If you have questions about uh, any other type of functionality inside of hosted SharePoint or any other application offered through Office 365 or Razor Sharp Networks, Please leave those comments uh, below. Uh, connect with us in our social media and continue to grow your business. And until the next time we speak, we hope that you make your business a razor-sharp business.